Chinatown's beautiful this time of year. We're in Hollywood. Oh. There's just so many Asians. Well, Miss Leading, looks like you're the only applicant that can read or write. Congratulations, you got the job. It's pronounced letting. I'm surprised a nice girl like you wants to work in such a formidable business like this. Long hours, low pay, tax audits, redundant conversations, premature ejaculations, high stress, alcoholism, insomnia, hemorrhoids. Did I say redundant conversations? Frankly, you may never see your family again. You get the point. The city will eat you alive if you allow. Hi, I'm Amber. I'm here for the secretary job, but I can't read or write. And I can't afford to pay you. But in Hollywood, we call this an internship. You're hired. <laughs> what are you doing? I was going to sit down. This is an internship. Go get me some coffee. Okay. And take those clothes to the dry cleaner. And can you get my bowling ball polished for me? And return those glasses to my nephew? And make sure that baby gets fed. Bad time, Detective? Not at all. Come on in, Miss. Net. Marionette. She reminded me of. Eh, who gives a shit? Are you familiar with a website called Fuzzbead? Pointless quizzes, pretentious lists, mindless videos. That's the one. I find them highly relatable. I mean, how else am I supposed to learn the 21 ways to stare at a girl's boobs without her noticing? My husband, Ethan, created the site nine years ago, originally as a way to annoy people on Facebook, but now he wants to be taken seriously as a legitimate news network. And he proposed the idea of delivering truthful, relevant news. Everyone laughed in his face, including me, his own wife. In an effort to prove me and everyone else wrong, he hacked into the Academy of Motion Pictures and gained access to the one list that, if leaked, would quiet all his skeptics. The winners of this year's Academy Awards. Oh, who cares? Everyone knows who's gonna win. The Oscars get increasingly more predictable every year. Some people like the mystery. I, for one, am looking forward to watching the awards over a bottle of wine with my girlfriend. Girlfriend? That's exactly the problem with men. They hear the word girlfriend and jump to all of these lesbian fantasies. Girls are allowed to have friends, detective. So what do you want from me? I want you to break into the Fuzzbeat headquarters and retrieve the list before midnight. He operates in Chinatown on the corner of Low and Main. Act fast, detective. I'll have you know, this business requires a certain amount of finesse. I think your pen just broke. I drove straight to Chinatown, only to realize she didn't mean the one in San Francisco. Damn it! I parked on the street corner, waiting for the owner of Fuzzby to return from his lunch break. to finally meet you, Detective Paxton. How do you know my name? Didn't you see the list we released last month? Damn it! Give me three reasons why I shouldn't kill you right now. Okay, uh, number one. If you let me go, I'll totally share the 25 most awkward cat sleeping positions on my Facebook page. <laughs> That's one of my most frequently shared lists. And number two, I really want to see what Disney princess I am. It's huh. one of my most popular quizzes. And C. I really want to know what Jennifer Lawrence is going to wear on the red carpets. Half the stuff I post is about her. It's what makes your website so entertaining. Sometimes people want to ignore the real issues of the world and instead watch videos about eight couples who've totally mastered the whole sexting thing. What do you want from me? I want you to destroy the list of Academy Award winners and go back to releasing articles that have no effect on people's lives whatsoever. Oh, you think you're so clever. That list is going to be released at midnight, and there is absolutely nothing you can do to prevent it. I already have a ticket booked for Moscow where I've been granted temporary asylum! Not so fast. I just videotaped your entire plan and sent it to the producers of The Daily Show, the most trusted news program on TV. How dare you! I was hired at Fuzzbead five hours ago because they needed someone who could read and write. Wang, 
Ling, you'll have to find someone else to transcribe your lists. Does he speak Chinese? And you, Mr. Net, your career is over. I deleted the list. I've got the LAPD, the FBI, the CIA, ABC, and the American Academy of Motion Pictures, Arts, and Sciences outside, so I would stand down if I were you. Stop right there! Put your hands in the air! No matter, I'm in Huffington Post. Marion, do something! Ethan, you almost ruined my Oscars night. This marriage is over. But you're carrying my child. No, I'm just fat. I'm sorry I left your office without a proper goodbye. You were right, detective. I'm just not cut out for this kind of work. But maybe you and I could connect again sometime. Whoa, what are you doing? I'm sorry, you're misleading. It's letting, and I'm a lesbian. Oh, good for you.